Um, because of the way the boat is um, configured, we've got very few... Uh, <laughs> problem with uh, hauling out is that you come out to do one or two jobs and then you find you've got more jobs to do. Patrick Lane if you're watching this this is our new nomination for a god tool. If you're doing any sort of rope work and you don't have a hollow fit on board, you're just living a life of pain. These things are brilliant for breaking knots, working with ropes. Yeah, oh. and all it is is a bit of metal. What well, is a bit of metal? It's just got and a, a hollow inside. And a hollow inside, and that's it. But God, does it work well? It certainly does. Of all the things that Bev and I have chatted about going back and forth, uh, is our standing rigging. I think our standing rigging is absolutely cracking. Um, but we're going to get it sorted out regardless because we're going to own this boat for the next 15 years. So we might as well get it done now and then we know it's going to be good for 15 years because we're going to own the boat that long. And it's already 15 years old. That is true. Uh, I just don't think the needing to do it now. However, I do need a anchor light on, and I do need another halyard on, and I do need. So there's all sorts of stuff I do want on my mast. So I might as well get the standing rigging done, get the things I do want on the mast sorted out, and then we know we're good to go. Um, because of the way the boat is um, configured, we've got very few. Uh, <laughs> I only went back to the uh, where the hatch came open, but oh god, never mind. Anyway, because uh, of the way the boat is configured, um, we've got very few ropes uh, here on the mast. But one of the ropes that we do have is this one, which is going to the, which actually hauls up our main um, our, our, our Genoa. Our so that one is going to get undone now because it's going to be used for the first time ever. Well, it's gonna be in, our, in, in our ownership, actually. The crew have pulled their hats down over their eyes. They don't want to see what's coming next. Um, when I was pulling the slugs down, um, what you have to do is you have to push this and that gives enough space for the slug to get out and then you have to just sort of like whack it past it and then you can get the slugs out. So that's what that is for. I didn't even know but there you go. It's rather depressing having your sails put, taken down. but. Um, they are down um, and what we're going to do now is remove all the trip hazards of which there are copious amounts before we start moving that sail and then we've got to um, fold it up um, so that it can go in the bee berth. <sighs> oh look it's so sad. Sails are down. Sadie lass. Oh no. It's not pure, fair. Pure salty lass. When you do a boat project, everything seems to be never straightforward. Uh, we were looking at our um, mast wiring, but luckily there's a gland on the deck, so we don't have to re don't have to cut any of this. But we might have to cut one or two, but we are ready for that if we have to.
over there they're uh, removing one of our friends boats and we're going to be going in as soon as it's out so what they're doing now is they're going to adjust the swings so that it'll be right for our boat hey what about we're dismasted don't even think don't even say that word on my boat <laughs> And then there's one just the other one is unique. You let that one go a little bit. I'll just I'll let that, that one completely forward to it. Yeah, that <sighs> I have to tell you, it's quite scary getting your mask taken off your boat. It's just ridiculously. Just. Ah! Time to get even more scary. I know. with uh, hauling out is that you come out to do one or two jobs and then you find you've got more jobs to do um, we've got nice copper coat on the bottom of um, salty lass but whoever put this copper coat on the keel have not done a very good job it's got um, it's basically just coming off in sheets so that's another job to add to the list <sighs> Well, as you can see, the mast is down. It's... It feels really weird. Yachts have to have a mast. <laughs> they, they're just glorified motor cruisers <laughs> without that mast. So, here's Salty Lass's other half. And we've got all sorts of work to do in this one. Well, I'm willing to guess this is the cause of the water ingress, this gap here. I'll have a look at that and see. But I'll probably fill that with a little bead of butyl or something. But in here is not exactly a sterling piece of work, whoever did that. So this is our mast headlight, which is just a tri-radial. And as you can see, the bulb in there is rather milky and it's probably not that long to go. Um, but this is just totally seized. Having spoken to the uh, rigger, he says the only way to get it off may be to chop it off. So I'd rather not, but we'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 